So you're thinking about buying a home in a Fairmont neighborhood of Philadelphia, and you want to get a good overview of what the neighborhood has to offer. How close is it to downtown? Are there plenty of activities and amenities nearby? Well, I'm here to answer those questions in this video. Now, first, using Google Maps, I'm going to show you the neighborhood limits, and then I'm going to visit two Fairmont landmarks and then a few popular places in Fairmont and two homes that are currently on the market around Philadelphia's average listing price, which is around $350,000. Now, if this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Philly, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can stay up to date on everything that happens in Philadelphia. My name is Colin Nathan Aleem, the real estate boy. I'm a licensed real estate agent serving Philadelphia and the surrounding counties. And I get calls texts and emails every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Philly. So I'm always happy to help whether you're moving in eight days or 80 days. I got you. All of my contact information is in the description. Now let's dive into the Fairmont neighborhood. So here is Fairmont right here. You can see the boundaries. And I wanted to show you guys a very high view first because you'll see how Close is to Center City. So if you want to get to Center City from Fairmont, you could take local traffic or this is Broad Street right here. And this runs uh, north and south of Philadelphia right in the middle, kind of cuts Philly right in the middle. So you can just jump on Broad Street and come on in uh, to downtown Philadelphia. Now, if you want to get to West Philly, um, as you can see, you're super close to West Philly. And if you wanted to get to um, you're in the northwest part of Philadelphia. So if you did want to get to the Middle East, you would, uh, not the Middle East, sorry. If you wanted to get to the Northeast, then you would just jump on the Vine Street Express and then you would go up um, to where you wanted to go, maybe Bucks County up here or Philadelphia Mills. Um, and if you wanted to catch a Sixers game or Eagles game, you would jump on 95 and go on down. Now let's take a little bit closer look at Fairmont. Okay, so one of one of the big attractions here in Philadelphia is uh, the Met Philadelphia. So you have that right here. And you have the uh, penitentiary, which we'll go and see the outside of. Um, this is the boundaries of uh, Fairmont is you have College Avenue uh, to the north and to the south, you have Spring Garden. And over here to the east, Broad Street, and over here to the uh, west, you have Pennsylvania Ave. So we're also going to visit uh, Philadelphia Museum of Art, uh, which is right here. And of course, if you um, you have Ridge Avenue, so there 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 are a lot of things on Ridge Avenue, but th I guess the main hub of Fairmont is Fairmont Avenue, which is right here. So you have a lot of shops here, a lot of eateries on Fairmont Ave. So if there was one main place, um, if you come to Fairmont that you're going to look to go to, um, it's going to be Fairmont Avenue. And we're going to take a look at that also. All right, guys, we're at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. The, this Museum of Art is a world-renowned institution that actually houses 240,000 works of art ranging from ancient to contemporary. It's probably... Uh, most famous for this Rocky steps, uh, which were made famous by the iconic scene in Rocky with him running up those stairs as his training regimen. So the museum was actually founded in 1876 and has become a cultural hub for the city, hosting a wide range of exhibits, events, and cultural programs. Now this is me at the top of the steps at the Philadelphia Art Museum. And what you're looking at is you're looking at downtown Philadelphia. That's the Benjamin Franklin Parkway that you see. And we're gonna make a left here and go down to where the Rocky statue is that millions of people come to Philadelphia and visit. All right, now I'm at the Eastern State Penitentiary, which is another famous landmark in Fairmont. Um, it's actually one of the most famous and controversial prisons in the world during this operation from 1829 to 1971. 
The prison was known for a strict regimen of solitary confinement, which was designed to encourage reform in the inmates. Um, this prison has since been preserved as a national historical landmark, which gives tours that are available. You see the sign right there. And um, there's a lot of fascinating history and you get to learn stories about the inmates also who were housed here. Now let's stroll down Fairmont Avenue, which is the main business hub in Fairmont. Here on the left hand side, coming up quickly, you're going to have the Fairmont Bicycle Shop. Fairmont is super walkable, so if you need some hardware supplies, you don't have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot. They have a Fairmont hardware, as you can see right here. They have the plants outside on the sidewalk. And we're going to cross the street here, but on the left, you have a Rite Aid. So you have a pharmacy there. You have Fairmont Pizza and Grill. Uh, you have a dry cleaners. And then you have this ice cream shop right here. And what I did is this looks so good, I had to get my own non fat Reese's swirl. Looks good, right? It definitely was. Now, before we take a look at the two properties in Fairmont, let's talk about the state of the Fairmont real estate market. Now, according to Redfin, Fairmont home prices increased by 11.1% in March of 2023 compared to the same month the previous year, with a median selling price of $433,000. The average number of days a home remained on the market in Fairmont rose to 78 days compared to 52 days the previous year. In March of 2023, there were 48 homes sold in Fairmont, which is one more home than the 47 homes sold in March of the previous year. All that means is that the homes in Fairmont increased in price from last year to this year, uh, but they're staying on the market a little bit longer. Now, the first house that we're going to look at is this house at 774 North 25th Street uh, in the Fairmont section of Philadelphia. Now, this house is going for a little under $410,000. It's a three bedroom. It has one full bath and one half bath. Now, this is... um. Again, this is a three bedroom. It's in a great location. Uh, it's a few blocks from the art museum. Uh, it's super close to Boat Row or Boathouse Row and many restaurants. It also has a, a, a private yard space with a full backyard. So we're running up on it right now. It has the listing sign there. So. Now let's see the inside. Welcome to our next showing. This address is 2709 Cambridge Street in the Fairmont section. Uh, this is a three bedroom, 2.5 bath. You can see it on the right hand side there. This home is going for a little bit under half a million dollars. And but I wanted to show you the, the neighborhood. This is a tree line block. Most Fairmont streets look like this. Um, you can see that these homes are well kept. And some of these are new constructed homes also. So we're going to make a right here and kind of turn on back so we can see our said property in a different angle. Our property has a big living room, a modern kitchen, a basement den. Uh, each bedroom on the second floor is awesome. And um, let's take a look at it. 